Here are in today's news, a week since it first ran aground, the Rena is in imminent danger of sinking. A large crack has appeared in the ship's hold and the aft part of the vessel is detaching from its fore. It's hoped the stern, which is where most of the oil is contained, will stay on the reef, enabling oil extraction. And some people helping to clean up oil on Tauranga's beaches are reporting headaches. An Omanu Beach surf life-saving spokesman suggested that could be because unofficial volunteers are working without the right gear or training. Some are wearing latex gloves which aren't thick enough, while others are barefoot, tracking the oil off the beach and into town. Meanwhile, the Rina's captain has appeared in court, facing a charge under the Maritime Transport Act. His next court appearance is set to be in a week's time. Environment Minister Nick Smith says the government is looking at all applicable legislation to hold the Rena's owner and insurer responsible for the salvage and clean-up bill. Transport Minister Stephen Joyce says other ships are now being affected by the containers adrift from the Rena. Local residents are also looking at the long-term impact on their environment and livelihood. Prime Minister John Key is urging businesses financially disadvantaged by the oil spill to register their concerns with Maritime New Zealand. In other news, the government is sticking with proposed reductions to ACC levies. Minister Nick Smith has revealed decisions about rates and they are in line with proposals made earlier this year. The combined earnest levy will be reduced by 17% and average work levies will be cut by 22%. Auckland health officials have announced new measures to try to combat the measles outbreak. There have been 228 cases in the last six months. Babies can now receive their first immunization at 12 months and the second dose can be given 28 days later rather than at age 4 years old. To international news, five years after he was taken prisoner by Hamas, Israeli soldier Gilad Shalit could finally be heading home. Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu has approved a prisoner swap deal that would free the captured soldier. It's reported the exchange covers 1,000 Palestinian prisoners, including terrorists. The United States has accru accused Iranian agents of plans to assassinate the Saudi ambassador on American soil. Two men have been charged with conspiring with Iranian government factions, and one is in American custody. The U.S. said the plot targeted attacks on the Saudi and Israeli embassies in Washington, D.C. Iran has in turn called the allegations an evil plot by the United States. Well, those are the headlines. Keep up with the news on vima.co.nz and on Shine TV. From our newsroom, Kakitiano.